Go! Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Buari and Uzodima have scammed us. Flood takes over new road Buari commissioned in Imo. Resident lament. Buari and Uzodima have scammed us. Flood takes over new road Buari commissioned in Imo. Resident lament. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read to this news. The recently inaugurated 37 kilometer Oweri to Olu dual carriageway road in Imo State is reportedly embattled with residents in the area hearing their grievances. A Facebook post which was shared by human rights activist Deji Adenyojo reports that after an hour of rainfall, every part of the road was flooded. Our much celebrated Amakohia section of the Oweri, Olu Road that was commissioned by Buari two weeks ago, that was estimated to have cost Governor Hope Uzodima 84 billion naira. Just an hour in, everywhere is flooded, the post read. Reaction through the video. At Okesi Godwin on Facebook Road. 84 billion naira what? The only difference between APC government and Yahoo Boys is just laptop. At Hieke Amara Road, until that road connecting this Oweri Olu Road, at that particular junction is worked on. If they like, let them use 300 billion naira. Once it rains, that axis must be flooded. Comfort Imo says, this government must go. I mean, bad government must exit Nigeria come 2023. Holy. Bulu's Umaru Road. Lack of good drainage system is a major problem in Nigeria road construction. At Victor Enant Road. That sector has an adjoining road called Imbiri Road. The previous government was to fix that road, but ended up making it so bad by removing its drainages. Hence, whenever it rains, the flood from that section flows into the road. But one good thing this government did was to open the blocked drainages along this road Hence, as soon as the rain stops, in less than 20 minutes, the flood disappear. If you doubt, if you doubt, I can walk out to the junction to give you a video of it right now. President Buari had on 13 September 2022, inaugurated the 37 km Oweri to a low dual carriageway in Imo State. Notwithstanding the criticisms against the governor, the Oweri Olu Road was in terrible shape before Hope Uzodema was sworn in as governor of Imo State on January 14, 2020. This led to his awarding of the contract of its reconstruction and dualization. Reports say the contract was awarded to Krenborg, a world-class construction company. 
During President Buhari's visit, he poured encomiums on the type of leadership Governor Uzodimaras provided for the Imo people and his gallantry strides in the area of infrastructural government, where he shares a similar vision with Governor Ho Uzodima. Uzodima plans to build more routes, fly over in Imo. Prior to Buhari's inauguration of the 37 km Lowery to Olu Dual Carriageway Road, the State Commissioner for Works and Housing, Ralph Umosu, had in July disclosed that Governor Hope Uzodima was planning to build more routes in the state. While briefing newsmen on some of the achievements of the state governor since he assumed office, Unwosu said, The Olu Oweri and Okigwe Oweri roads are the signature project of this administration. Olu to Uga Road, we have done over 19%. We tend to complete it before the president comes to commission it. They are working day and night as we speak. They are asphalting from warehouse to Lakpakuma. All that is done, the Unjaba Bridge, Okudo by Unjaba already being tackled, would get attention and horn Okigwe Oweri Road we are commissioning in phases. We are also putting up road furniture on that road. We are making it a standard road so that in the next 15 to 30 years, nobody talks about construction of road. And the good thing is that we are looking at the interconnectivity of the road. We connected so many local government from the angle of the road. We have also done so many other roads in the town. The Aladdin Ma Hospital Road, Emmanuel College Road. But I must tell you, it is not easy constructing these roads in the town. But we are doing them. All is aimed at turning Imo to one city state. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about.